Welcome to the stream, everybody. It's me again. How we all doing? How we all doing? So today, what I'll be doing is we're going to be showing you how to do a bit of a splashdown, a bit of a splashdown section on a on a coaster in Plank Coaster, believe it or not. So we're just gonna we're just gonna get straight into things. We're gonna quit the bullshit and just go straight in. So this coaster is actually blueprinted off a streamer club park that I uh, that I've done before. If you're on the tube and you don't know what that is, and make sure to head over to the Twitch. This is a hype coaster done by one of my good friends, and it had a little splashdown section. And I was I was looking at this the other day and I was thinking. You know what? I don't see enough splashdowns in Planet Coast. Let's let's show some people how to do it. The first thing that you're going to want to do is when you're making your coaster, make the splashdown section in the ground and make sure it's straight track. Okay, so when you've got them two things done, you want to go onto terrain and you want to cut yourself a little a little area out. It, do, it doesn't really matter what. And then when you've cut yourself a little area out, get a flattened foundation tool, make it a bit bigger. They just flatten the area out down there. Okay, so it's just like that. Okay, so next step, do you want to go into scenery uh, or building, get yourself some wall? I'm going to do it out of shapes. And then over on flat, if we go down, we can just get a, a rectangle. We'll use extra large. So what we're actually doing here is we're making these little walls that hold the water splash effects in. So when the uh, train passes this, some water will go up. So what you're going to want to do is make yourself the walls like this. So you have two on either side, really close to each other and then just duplicate it and take it all the way down your splashdown section. Right, so now you've got that done, grab yourself your actual walls and just lower them down a little bit until they're roughly in line with the track. Right, brilliant. Now, in a bit, what we'll do is we'll put in our little water effects that are going in there. So the next thing we're going to want to do is get yourself your art shapes again, your, your walls, your pieces, whatever, whatever you need, it don't really matter. Now, what you can do is you can either leave it like this or you can make it a like little pool area. So if you want to make it a pool area, I will do that is just get yourself some pieces and make yourself a big like square pool right that's the easy part done now we're going to get into the really really bloody difficult bit right so what you want to do is go ahead and just fill the outside of your pool with the uh with the terrain tool and then go onto the push put it on like 20 percent or something make it really small the the tool that you're using and then just get rid of all of the terrain for a minute and then obviously you can you can recolor the, the walls because you know i don't really know why you have to keep them lime green but okay all right now i've got rid of all of that look at this there's now gaps around the side get on your oh man get on your flat foundation tool and uh and then just go around and fill it all back in and then it's just a constant process of just bloody this for so blood now you could spend just hours perfecting this i'm not going to do that because i just can't be asked to mess with you but if you do do it then it will look really incredible right so now you've got it as perfect as you can be bothered to be obviously it's not it's not perfect at all so what you want to do is go onto terrain and then go down to water and then get yourself probably some calm water and uh go ahead and fill your splash down up right now onto the really bloody well it's not i was gonna say difficult bit it's not difficult it just takes the absolute piss to make it right go on to special effects and go on to water what we're actually going to use is this now this is a water splash line to me that's what we're going to use so we're going to put this in the little wall here get it all lined up and then we're just gonna line these just all the way down the wall and then to make your life a bit easier just copy what you've done over there and just paste it over on the other side just like that right go on to the trigger sequence now as you can see i have all, earlier what i did was actually put all these track triggers in so you're gonna want to line each one of the uh track triggers up with one of the splashdown things and this really, really takes a long time. Now, if you don't have to do chat triggers, I call it above for the people on the tube. Make sure to give it a click, give it a watch, and it will tell you how to do uh, chat triggers. Right, now we, now we need to connect them all up, which is going to be fun. Right, so when you've got them all connected up, the bit that takes the longest is lining all your triggers up with the actual uh, effects. So hopefully, if I now give this ride a test, it should come around into the splashdown section. It should come into the splashdown section, and hopefully we should see a nice, even splashdown. Right, here it comes. That looked absolutely incredible. Look at that. Eh? Really, really happy with that, how that turned out. It, it can look so good. Honestly, I would recommend using these two meter uh, little water line effect things. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. If you're on the tube, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Come check me out over on Twitch. Link's top of the description. Thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you all in the next one.